Hello, students. This video will cover the student loaner laptop. When you receive the loaner laptop, it will come with an AC adapter. When you take the laptop and the adapter out of the box, you'll want to connect both ends of the AC adapter and then connect it to your wall outlet. Once you've connected the AC adapter to the wall outlet and the other end to the laptop, go ahead and turn on your laptop. To log into your SJC laptop, it's pretty straightforward. The username is always going to be sjc.student. The password will be password, all lowercase letters. Now, you do have the ability to change the password to something else. However, we don't recommend you do so. The reason being is that if you were to forget your new password, you will be required to come on campus to get that resolved. Once you log in to your laptop, you're going to arrive onto your desktop. From here, you're going to have several shortcuts, including logging into Blackboard, Office 365, Edge, and the Lockdown Browser. If you'd like to log into Office 365 from the web, you can double click this shortcut right here and then log in with your student email address. Also, you have the ability to use one of the Office apps already installed on your computer. To do so, you're going to go ahead and in this example, we're going to open up Word. From here, I'm going to click no. And now it's asking me to sign in. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna sign in with my student email address to get started. So I'm gonna click the blue button here, sign in, and then let me get my notes ready so I can go ahead and sign into this account. And then I should be prompted for my password. Okay. Once I click sign in, it'll take a few moments to get started. And now I'm good to go. I'm able to go ahead and start a blank document from here. And now I have access to all the features that are available to me in Microsoft Word. But this is one way of doing, um, of using Microsoft Office without you having to log into the web each and every single time. Now, another thing that is available to you on this loaner laptop is the ability to print. So if you would like to print, all you have to do is come down here to search. You can look printers and scanners, but if it's not there, you could just type in printers and scanners and you'll see that there. And from here, I can go ahead and add a printer. Now, in my scenario, my printer is actually connected to the Wi-Fi that I have here at home. So I'm going to click add a printer or scanner. Okay. And after giving it a few seconds, it's located my printer. So I'm gonna click the printer here. I'm gonna add device. It's connecting. And sometimes it can take a few seconds or a minute for it to do all the work, but then it's ready to go. So now I can go ahead and print my coursework. Should that be helpful to me to have, you know, at my computer desk. So now let's go ahead and talk about proper care for your laptop. So please do not eat smoke or drink while you're using your laptop. The loaner laptop is in your name, so always keep it somewhere safe. If you have to take it with you in your vehicle, make sure you store it somewhere like in the trunk. Definitely wanna keep it out of sight, out of mind. Should your laptop get damaged, lost or stolen, you will wanna report this immediately. Go ahead and contact tech support at 281-998-6137 or via email tech support at sjcd.edu. Should you have any technical issues with your laptop, the first thing that you'll wanna do is reboot the laptop. A lot of the times that's all that the issue is. You just need to reboot the computer and everything will start working a-okay. Now, 
Let's say you're running into a situation where you're trying to access Blackboard, but the page will not load. You can log in anywhere else, but not Blackboard. We do have a site, a page on our website, www.sanjackits.org slash service dash status. And from here, you're able to see if any of our service partners are down. That way you'll know it's actually an issue with the website versus your laptop. If you've rebooted your computer, you have visited the website and you're still having an issue with the laptop, go ahead and contact tech support for assistance. Zoom is already installed on the loaner laptop, so you do not have to worry about installing anything. You are able to test the audio and the video on your loaner laptop before your class. You can visit https colon slash slash zoom dot us slash test, and you'll be able to test things out like your mic, speaker, headset, and webcam. Now, if you don't have the time to do that type of testing and you're already in class and you're running into problems, you can still troubleshoot those issues while you're in class. So for example, if your instructor calls on you and yet you've unmuted, but the instructor still cannot hear you, you can click the up arrow to the right of mute just to make sure that you've selected the correct mic. You can also go into the setting to uh, select the correct speaker. The up arrow to the right of stop video will go ahead and allow you to select the correct webcam uh, for your laptop. Now, of course, if you're just using the laptop by itself, you will be using the integrated webcam, just like it's shown here. So if you have any questions on any of the material that was presented here in this video, please give us a call or send us an email, its.customercare at sjcd.edu. For technical issues with your laptop, please contact tech support by phone 281-998-6137 or via email tech support at sjcd.edu. Please be sure to include your G number, your name, and a good contact number where we can reach you. Thank you.